together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation. And our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. It signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church. And Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy, for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. And when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Bill and Roberta now come to be rejoined. Now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now, or else forever hold your peace. Any comments? <laughs> I require and charge you both, here in the presence of God, that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully and in accordance with God's word, you do not confess it. Roberta, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Here she is. The answer should be I will. Probably a little longer than that. These aren't your vows. You just should be consistent. I'm sorry. I know. Will you have this woman to be your wife? To live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? We will. We will. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Also with you. Let us pray. O oh, gracious and ever-living God, you have created us male and female in your image. Look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing, and assist them with your grace, that with true fidelity and steadfast love, they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make through Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Amen.